81 degrees, partly cloudy, perfect to go racing. This track is big. It's two miles. It's really fast. These drivers are jacked up. I'm jacked up. We're ready to rock and roll, man. Tough break. Kevin Harvick is now creeping onto the entrance to pit road. Going down the back stretch is, is really when I realized that I had a problem. I felt the tire go down. I felt the splitter hit the ground and the right front of the car kind of go over. That car off the pace was running in the second spot a moment ago and is headed for the pit lane. I knew at that point if I could just get it to pit road without tearing the splitter off the car and not hitting another car or spinning out or having something come apart on the tire, we were still going to be in the game. It looks like you ran over something at some point. It was going down and then come apart, but they're going to take it back and look at it. I found it down the back straightaway. It went down. We destroyed the splitter a little bit when I came down pit road with the tire flat and hurt the balance of the car and was really tight after that. So we had to make some really big changes as the race was going on to try to get the balance free back up. But the last run, we finally got it right and started the run a little bit too loose and, and was able to motor on. I got 28 on our right, so probably just going to put four tires on and try to drive back up through there. If the stage ran out without having a caution, we were going to be okay because everybody had to pit. So we were going to finish somewhere in the top ten in the stage, and then it was all about figuring out what we are going to do with the stage break. Four tires here. Four tires. We put four tires on to make sure that we had the cars balanced where it needed to be for the end of the race and know what we needed to do with four tires. So I always prefer four tires, but uh, with the track position and the way things are this year, you definitely have to play the tire game sometimes. Kevin Harvick will come on in, getting back on track, work his way back into the top ten. That really benefited us in the, in the second stage. You know, the four tires were good for us, and we were able to put ourselves back in a good spot. We felt like we had a good car, but, you know, overall, we just started uh, stage three a little bit too loose. Trouble off turn four, one car breaks loose. It seemed like every time there was another caution and, and got another cycle on the tires, our car got better and better. Here you go, good job. Trouble in turn four, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Time we get going. Come on. Everybody is headed down pit road. Make sure we get it full. We were uh, coming there to top it off. The biggest thing there was we were going to make sure that it was actually topped off, and, and some of those guys didn't. Mass exodus here as all the cars are making their way off the pit road. 44 laps to go. Joe Ilegano is out front. After 10 or 12 laps, I felt like those other guys, you know, were in a position uh, to where their cars were tight. They, they had to be mindful of, of where they were with fuel. Kevin Harvick to the inside of the racetrack. Takes the fourth spot away. We realized at that particular point, we had a fast enough car to utilize all three lanes and make passes. I could run the, the third lane, the second lane, the first lane. It was just a matter of, you know, trying to time it right. Look out, Joey Logano. Harvick is running them down. Our car was, was, was handling really well, and I could tell his car was, was starting to get tight. Side by side at the start-finish line, it's Harvick and Joey Logano. I was able to stay close enough and, and finally get, get the right front fender up, up beside uh, his left rear and, and we're able to uh, make the pass. Kevin Harvick to the lead. We had a fast car all weekend and, and we're able to, to capitalize on that today even with the adversity that we faced. Checkered flag is out and Kevin Harvick has picked up win number two of 2019. Nice job, Bill. There's been a couple other opportunities that, that we didn't capitalize on, but uh, we've definitely capitalized on a couple over the last month here.